Would you like to borrow that from Morning Joe? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, like get it out of the way. I apologize graphic. if I, if I no, offend you in any way. Yeah, <laughs> get it in there. I like that you're here because we have a bunch of wide kind of topics. Again, since we're kind of inside the beltway in baseball, you're watching from a bit of a distance. Your take on the pitch timer. Let's start there. All right. Completely in favor of it. I love it. I was at Yankees Red Sox in the Bronx two Fridays ago. Yankees Red Sox games, they tend four, Always. four and a half hours. Yes. Yeah. This one was two hours and 25 minutes. It Why? was a thing of beauty. I, I yeah. love the pitch clock. I'm in, I'm in favor of the rule changes and uh, uh, stats here. Other fans like it too. Attendance up 7%, viewership up on ESPN, TBS, MLB.tv ratings surging. This is a great thing. The only question is, why did it take them so long to do well, it? Well, yeah, no, but that's, that's – yeah, there's a lot of inertia. There's pushback from the players. I've been waiting for it for years. It's, isn't it nice when you say they should do something and they do it and it works? And it – Right? It's it, amazing. It right. is. It it is like, what do we do now? It, it is right. a home run. It's a, right, and you're right. Yankees-Red Sox, I've had the same thing. I've been here at night for Yankees-Red Sox. I'm like, oh, it's going to take forever. Wait a second. It won't take forever. No. Nice, crisp two and a half hours. Give me a rule that you would now be in favor of. If you had a little momentum in the, in the commissioner's office, what next thing would you do? I would like to see Ellie De La Cruz be in every game just because he's just so fun. Uh, setting that aside, I mean, obviously, I think the changes so far have done what they wanted, increased offense a little bit. But I think that I wouldn't be opposed if, if, if the, that trend reverses or if it stagnates. I wouldn't be opposed to touching the pitcher's mound. I think I don't think move that's it back a, a little bit. Yeah, move back a little bit. I don't exactly. think it's sacrosanct. You're, I, you're correct. They've done it before. Yeah, yeah, right. It hasn't been since 1887 or whatever. That's it is. still. But also, I, even I said that to Al Leiter here last week. His head exploded. I understand. It sounds like move it back a foot. That's an it's like that much. Yeah. You take one step back if you can take a tick off a fastball. That's it. Because strikeouts still rule the day. They do. That's the next thing to get to. But we're not disagreeing on anything. Give me your preferred playoff format. You know, obviously it changed last year. What do you like as a fan? I'm okay with the new system. I wouldn't say that I love it, but I'm in favor of anything that keeps more cities and fan bases engaged. Mm -hmm. And obviously with the more, I, I wouldn't expand it any further. I think this is already perhaps a, maybe even a touch too big. And I will say I like that one game wild card playoff. I know not every, a lot of baseball fans don't. I like that too. But I, I, yeah. did, I, didn't, I didn't mind. I liked the drama yeah. of it a couple years ago when it was Red Sox, Yankees at Fenway. It's must-see TV. And they beat you you got to watch that game. And if you put yourself in that position, because is it unfair? Yeah, but you put yourself in that That's position. That's right. Win a couple more games, avoid that game. Right. Uh, if you if you win a few more in the regular season. I'm, I'm okay with where they are now, but I don't think they should expand it further. I agree. I think right. I think they got the sweet spot last year, say five and six. You look at it, it was like uh, it was Padres, right? Phillies. If you drop one past that, you got to the Brewers last yeah, and year. and then it was too much. Not quite. Or I think it was either the other side. It was either the Orioles or the White Sox, teams that were not really successful. You don't want to dip there, but I think six works. Uh, State of the Red Sox. What are your thoughts? You're a longtime Red Sox fan. Yeah, uh, they're not the empire they once were, but they're not bad. Where are you on them? Yeah, I mean, they're they're cursed by being the toughest division in baseball. They're a few games over 500, but yet they sit in last. They obviously had a very successful uh, consecutive series against the Yankees here. They've beaten the Yankees five out of six. I mean, I think most Red Sox fans are disappointed uh, with where the state of the franchise has gone the last couple years, particularly losing their marquee players. And, and Xander Bogarts, sure. I mean, no one, I don't think any Red Sox fan thinks they should have given him the contract the Padres did, but they could have signed him a year ago from far less than he got from San Diego. Right. The biggest thing is, it's Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts is a generational right. talent. He's a star. It would have yeah. been a, a seamless handoff. David Ortiz to Mookie Betts as the face of the franchise and a great guy who wanted to be there, but they lowballed him. All-around player, too. Now, I know they, they, they said that they put out real money for him, but I'm with you. When you're an empire, right? They were yeah. the secondary empire, but there was still they, the arms race were Yankees and Red Sox. When you're one of those big shots, you keep your stars. Yankees kept Bernie Williams. Yep. Bernie almost went to the Red Sox, but they was like, no, 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 we keep our big guys. I think that is telling that, right? Betts and Bogarts got away. This is also the lowest payroll of any John Henry team. They used to not be outspent. They've stayed up, but everyone's passed, passed them by. Yeah, we've seen other teams, Mets, Dodgers who really who blew, blowing past them and I mean in terms of keeping their stars the Yankees just kept Aaron Judge there was they were not going to let Aaron had Judge to keep they it, had yes. to keep Aaron right. Judge the Red Sox had to keep Mookie Betts I mean they point to they paid big money for Chris Sale the trade for Sale worked out they don't win a World Series without him the contract extension far less so he's been you know he's barely been healthy to pitch since they gave him the big extension but they haven't been out there they had to keep Devers I'm glad they did but it shouldn't just be Devers because outside of Devers and Yoshida there aren't really many marquee players on that team. And I'm a diehard. I'm going to watch them each and every day regardless. But if you're a casual fan, who do you latch onto? Whose jersey do you buy? Mm -hmm. And I know that the ownership suggests that in coming off seasons, they'll spend big money. They'll be after the Otanis yeah. of the world. It's hard to see right now. Well, if you win, you don't have to worry about the jerseys. You you know, if you win the pennant, you, you get in the World Series, you're fine. Yeah. But they were, they were a team that did both. 
yes. that were way on top. And I will yeah. say that their, their run to the ALCS in 2021, I think, convinced them they were doing things the right way. And I think that was kind of a fluke to get there. That, that team overachieved. And now we've seen them come crashing back to earth. They're mediocre. Uh, yeah, uh, true. Uh, Heim Bloom. So there's a little, like, you have the Rays mentality with, with Boston so far. Yeah. Like, I thought that was going, oh, this is going to be a perfect thing. I wonder if it's going to be a perfect thing. I don't know. He, but he certainly has come under a lot of scrutiny in the local media market. He is not a particularly popular guy in New England. But, again, to be credit, they, they have had a good week. They're only two out of the wild card right now. Mm -hmm. You know, they might get Trevor Story back. Maybe they get Chris Sale back. They have the ability to make a move at the deadline. Maybe they can get into it. Right. We didn't disagree on uh, just about it. You move the, once you say you're going to move the mound back, like you're, well, I'm in. You're, you're in. All right, we'll take a short break.